Christy is with us in Fremont, California. Hi, Christy. How are you? Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Appreciate it. Sure. What's up? So my my question is, um, I just turned 68 in November, and I've been uh, holding on to getting my Social Security benefit so that I could maximize it at 70. But now I'm having people tell me that, do the math, you should take it now, and do something with that extra money because by the time um, it would take me like to age 84 to break even if I don't take it now. So I just want to know your thoughts on that. Yeah, I'm in the boat of taking it. And one reason is you can do way better investing that money yourself if that's what you want to do and depending on your financial situation Mm -hmm. than waiting to get, you know, a few extra hundred dollars a few years from now. So that's what I'm doing if I'm you. And again, when you crunch the numbers, you can see, man, it's going to take me a long time to really ROI on this decision. And so once you do that, it becomes clear that taking the money now and having control of it is going to be in your favor. Yep. He's right. The one thing, you know, the one thing I have been doing, because I was the last birth year that I could take uh, half of my husband's. So I have been doing that for the last two years, and that's basically been paying my Medicare costs, which is great, plus some extra. Mm -hmm. Um, But I sold my business um, this year, and with capital gains and all that hoo-ha, my Medicare costs have gone through the roof. So I'm thinking maybe I should just take my own benefit and have a little extra, I mean, more left over to do something with. Amen. Amen. That's but, amen. But, All but, right. but mathematically, what George is saying is right. If you didn't do that with it, if you just said the way to do the math is not, I mean, you can take it and use it. That's sure. I would do that. But mm-hmm. That's why I said amen. But mm-hmm. if you just took the math, if you took the money now and you invest it from now until 70, the amount in that investment would offset the difference and the extra you would have made if you waited till 70 to start taking. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like I've I've looked at it, and yeah. right now it's the two years is about um, sixty eight thousand mm-hmm. dollars is what it would be, mm-hmm. and um, like say that it'll be more than that, that because you'll be investing seven. it all along. Yeah, that is true. I would be doing something so else with it. Besides. You end up with a hundred thousand uh-huh. bucks, paying you ten thousand dollars a year. That's eight hundred bucks, and you're not going to make eight hundred bucks extra by waiting until seventy. No. No, that I'm staring right at it on this piece of paper, and you're <laughs> certifying that for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So, yeah, that that's the way this works. If you take the Social Security, and it, but folks, if you do this at 63, you can do it. I mean, whenever you want to do it, it depends on what your tax situation is. But if you can, uh, aside from taxes, if you just take that money and invest it and say, okay, in an investment, here's what it would be worth at 65 versus 63, and here's how much more I would get at 65 if I wait. You're going to get more off of that lump sum investment income that that lump sum creates than you would have extra in Social Security payments because the Social Security system sucks. It's a negative rate of return. And, and oh, by the way, when you die, that $100,000 we're talking about with her is going to be in the investment. When you die, if it's at Social Security, guess how much you get? Zippo, zero, nada. You don't leave it behind. They keep it because, well, they have to prop up their broken, destructive system that they've engaged all of us in. It's um, Social Security is the DMV of retirement. If you just think going to the DMV and how frustrating and horrible an experience that is, that's what Social Security is when it comes to retirement, just to help you out. It sucks. And right. both uh, both part of the government. So go figure. Who knew?